food sim. Hi friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day today. Welcome back to the channel. Simba has decided to grace us with his presence again today. So I went to H&M recently and found all of the cutest holiday inspired warm cozy outfit pieces and naturally had to do a little haul. They are doing so well right now in my eyes. Like everything that they drop is just so cute. I personally like a lot of like their studio collection and their higher end pieces, but all together there was just so much from every different collection that I really liked. So we are here today and we are doing an H&M haul. Hopefully it gives you some ideas for some holiday looks because that's definitely what I shopped for. A quick reminder, if you like this video, give it a big inspired thumbs up, comment below your favorite pieces, and if you are new to the inspired family, thank you so much for giving this video a watch. We hope you'll join us for a little longer and subscribe. But with that, let us begin this journey of an H&M haul. Winter holiday haul. I don't I think I'm just trying to sing a Christmas jingle up in here all right so like I said I picked up a bunch of pieces that I thought were gonna be really great for transitioning into the holiday season I picked up a few basics as well but for the most part they were pieces that I really wanted to wear through the holidays first up let's start with dresses just because you know the holidays are meant for dressing up and looking all schnazzy first up is this gorgeous white sort of mesh with inner layering pleated polka dot dress. I saw this and immediately fell in love with it. I didn't even see the price and I was like, I'm gonna buy it because it is just so cute and I feel like it is so comfy for the holiday season just because of the way that it's cut, it's kind of A-line. So for those turkey dinners, you good girl. But some of the things I really like about it is that one, it comes with that inner lining tank top dress. Sometimes I find that these mesh dresses don't come with an inner layer and I'm like, now I have to find an inner layer and it just deters me from purchasing it. And then the second thing that I really love about this is the price. So this gorgeous dress, I was expecting to be about $80 at H&M. It was $39. 99. Here is that dress on and I love it with these like sort of Chelsea boots I feel like it gives it a very cool girl vibe, but this dress is so beautiful on like I said I kind of knew when I picked it up the amount of fabric they use for this pleated skirt gives it so much movement Makes it look really upscale and again I just feel like this is going to be such a cute holiday look one that you could eat all the turkey in and be totally okay But also so cute trendy with with still quite a bit of class. So cute to sort of layer up with like a leather jacket, but just an adorable dress. And for $40, I am so here for this. Next up in dresses, you know that I had to find myself a holiday slip dress. And this one here is in this sort of beige skin tone color. It's got that creped look to it, so it almost looks like it's wrinkled, but it really just gives it some extra texture. It's quite long, I would say like long midi to almost floor length. Has a slit on the side here. But for this one, I kind of imagined wearing this under a black blazer or like a jacket or a sweater. It's definitely a layering piece. I think on its own, it might look kind of like lingerie slash sleepwear, but we'll see. I just really wanted a beige sort of looking slip dress and somehow I didn't have one before. And this one here was $29.99. Here is that slip dress on. Like I was saying, it hits to about your ankles. I really like this slit here. I almost wish they had it on both sides, but obviously it is a very comfortable dress, obviously, because it is a slip dress. Like I said, I kind of imagined this to be worn with a leather jacket or with a black blazer, just something neutral to go in underneath all of those layers. The color kind of assures that it's gonna match with everything. On its own, I'm not really sure if I like it. I just feel like it kind of looks like nightwear, sleepwear, but it is definitely very comfortable. And two, I definitely think it'll work with how I envisioned it. I threw on a leather jacket just to show you guys what I was thinking of, but this is exactly how I would wear it with this sort of leather jacket, Chelsea boots, and just like a really cool effortless vibe. All right, next let's move right into skirts. So for holiday skirts, you know I had to pick up a plaid skirt. I just love plaid skirts. I think it's trendy right now, but I just love plaid for the holiday season. I have like a suit and plaid, 
multiple pants and plaid no plaid shirts maybe I gotta work on that but this one here is just a classic mini skirt it's made in this sort of woven style cotton texture but I just really liked the print it has black red beige white so I feel like it'll go really well with neutrals that's another thing when you're looking at plaid you want to make sure you look at the colors and see if those colors in that plaid print are ones that you have because that'll make it easier for you to match it with things and this one here is actually a structured skirt so it's got that zipper there it's not one of those elastic -y skirts which I personally don't love all that much and this one here was 29 99. Here is that plaid skirt on and like I said, I just feel like this is such a cute festive pop So whatever you're wearing on top It just automatically adds that festive vibe to it or that cool trendy vibe to it I really like the fact that this mini skirt is not like that mini I don't know there are some brands out there that create mini skirts where I'm like My cooch it's gonna you know show the world its thing But this one here is definitely a perfect length. It's also high-waisted which I think is is really nice adds like really nice sophisticated look to it this is kind of exactly how I would wear it kind of with a very basic top or sweater tucked in and either tights high knee boots or Chelsea boots if I'm feeling brave enough to bare my legs in the winter but such a cute skirt and one that I feel like has a lot of outfit potential and I splurged a little bit on this skirt but I just saw it I think it's part of their studio collection definitely their elevated collection it is this beautiful polka dot floor length mesh I don't know see-through pleated skirt First of all, you guys know I love pleated skirts. Second of all, I just looked at this and I was like, this is designer. This is gorgeous. The way that this is going to move, I already know, is just so beautiful. And it also incorporates that see-through mesh-like trend where it's got the inner lining on the inside. Again, thank you H&M for putting an inner lining in this. And it's got an elastic top band here, so obviously it's gonna be very comfortable. I actually sized up on this one just because I felt like I wanted it to be a little bit looser and like not super tight so this is a size 6 I normally wear a size 4 and this one here was $69.99 here is that black skirt on and like I said I just knew it was going to be one of my favorite purchases from this haul it is just so glamorous so beautiful moves really well you can kind of see the silhouette of your leg underneath as you walk so I just feel like this is going to be so perfect kind of dressed down like this with the sweater but then pair up with like a bow tie blouse for a more high and fancy event. In terms of the length here, I will say that it is quite long. So I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and it pretty much hits the ground. I'm wearing just like a pair of flat Chelsea boots. So it is quite long. If you are a little bit shorter, you might need to hem it up. The other things, you can always hike it up a little bit higher. I mean, it's an elastic band, so it goes wherever you want it to go. But again, I really like the fact that it's got that layering piece underneath here so that, you know, you don't have to go buy a skirt to wear underneath your skirt. And it's just such a glamorous piece. Oh, it is so beautiful. I just keep, honestly, this is me and sheer pleated things. It's just always fluffing. Next up in skirts, but technically a set, is this gorgeous green sort of brown textured animal print skirt a line skirt not pleated but this one actually comes alongside this beautiful printed chiffon blouse and i love sets in particular just because i feel like they're such an easy outfit when you buy sets as two pieces you can wear them on their own but together they make for the easiest no-brainer outfit like when you don't know what to wear in the morning you just go to your closet grab a set and you're good to go. So this one here is actually about like a midi skirt. This chiffon blouse here, I'm not really that big of a fan of its neckline. It's kind of like a high neckline, nothing really interesting about it. But I think paired up together, it'll be really cute. And this one kind of tucked into a pair of like brown corduroy pants or something would be really cute. So the skirt here was $34.99, which is so great. H&M, thank you for keeping your prices down. And this chiffon blouse here was $29.99. Here is that printed set on and like I said, I love sets because they're just really really easy This print here is actually so gorgeous definitely my vibe kind of a retro kind of like 
Hermes like I don't know I just really like these sort of geometric style prints as well as these neutral colors it does have a bit of mint green in it which is new for me I don't really wear all that much green but I just thought that this would be really nice if I had like a dinner out or something and again just really easy to pair up especially if you go to work I tied it up like this here but obviously you can tuck it in and then it kind of just looks like a really nice a-line cinched dress as i expected i'm not a huge fan of the top on its own i feel like the neckline here just kind of makes me look like a pleb i don't know what that even really means but i just feel like it makes me look really broad in the shoulders together with the skirt i feel like it looks really nice but on its own i'm not really sure so i may try it with some other brown pants or beige pants and see how it goes but all in all a really cute set really versatile and again very easy to put together and go. All right, let's move into holiday tops. So I picked up two tops for the holidays, ones that I kind of had in mind to layer. The first one here is this almost puffer sleeve cotton green shirt. I don't wear a lot of green, but I figured for one shirt, I'm okay. I can tuck this into like white pants and it'll be really festive or just a pair of jeans. And because of the deep green color, it'll just be very holiday-like and I also really like that it's got this open neckline here with these little capped puffy sleeves just because it gives it a little bit more of an interesting look than your average cotton tee and this one here in terms of the quality is really nice like it's very heavy kind of feels like like my Everling pieces which are obviously a little bit more expensive but this one here was only 19 99. Here is that green top on and a couple things. One, I love it. I love this sort of almost sweetheart action. I feel like that's so cute, super unique. Love these puffy sleeves, but this top runs abnormally large. So this is a size small and I wanted it to kind of like fit to my body and normally a size small will do that, but it's loose. Like it is, it's got a lot of fabric on it. It almost feels like it's a medium, which I normally wouldn't buy in this style of top. So just keep in mind that if you are looking to pick this up, I would definitely try your size, but maybe also try a size down. So I am probably just gonna go into the store and exchange this for an extra small, but I am loving this green. Green is growing on me. Are you a green fan? Do you like green? Next up, I didn't really know how I felt about this. Kind of felt like Britney circa 1997, but I picked up this sparkly turtleneck. I just felt like this was so festive for the holiday season. Obviously very trendy, but one that I'm hoping isn't itchy because this fabric is sometimes a little itchy to me, so we're gonna do an itch test on this one. But classic turtleneck style. There are a few of these in like tank top, crop top styles too, but I feel like that's just a little too trendy for me. But as a turtleneck here, I felt like this would be so great to layer, can wear it to work, can wear it out to party. Just a really great staple piece if it's not itchy. And this one here was also $19.99. Here is that turtleneck on. So one, it does pass the itch test. It is not itchy, which is great for this type of fabric. I was really worried about that, especially because it's a high neck turtleneck. I feel like it goes really well with a lot of things. It almost just looks like a black turtleneck, but it's got that glittery sort of texture and material to it so it makes it pop a little bit more I just layered it up with that black skirt so it's kind of looking like a turtleneck pleated dress right now but I just feel like this is such a great touch for the holiday season if you want to kind of dress up your work outfits you can wear this underneath a blazer or tucked into dress pants just a really nice way to be sophisticated and kind of covered up but also festive for the holidays the other thing to note is that the length isn't like a normal length I would say it's a little bit cropped very 90s-esque so it sits like where my belly button is not quite a crop top but like not quite a full length so just keep that in mind if you're thinking of layering it underneath things but since I wear a lot of like high-waisted things it doesn't really matter too much to me and I feel like for $20 this is like a holiday basic and you know that I could not do a haul without buying a cozy sweater so I picked up this really pretty beige one here. I thought this, this would look really nice layered on top of that beige sort of slip dress as well. It's got like a sort of crepe-like texture to it, but it's in that chenille, I think it's called chenille fabric, where it's like so soft it almost feels like fleece or a pillow or something. But again, a neutral color, something that I could layer up with a lot of things. And this one here was $34.99. 
Here is that Chanel, I think, sweater on. So cute, so soft. Probably one of the softest sweaters I have with the exception of my cashmere sweaters, but cashmere is very expensive. So this is definitely a keeper. I love the length of the arms. I feel like it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of how long your arms are. Mine are very lanky, but also like rolling opportunities. I feel like rolled up sweaters on the sleeve length is just so much cuter than too short of a sleeve. And again, this crepe style texture is one of my favorites. I'll zoom in so you can kind of see it, but I just feel like it adds a lot to an otherwise very basic sweater, but super warm, almost feels like fleece. Definitely gonna be great for layering up. I also really like the length of this. It's a little bit shorter than my other sweaters, which will make it a lot easier to tuck into things. And just so comfy and cozy. It's very hard for me not to keep sweaters. I'm just, I'm a sweater gal. It's sweater season. Sweater weather, my friends. And very last but not least in the haul is jackets. I have picked up quite a few jackets from H&M in a few seasons and have been so impressed by the quality of their jackets as well as the price of their jackets. I'm not gonna lie, Zara has kind of been disappointing me this season. I'm just like kind of waiting for them to go on sale so I can pick up some jackets at decent prices. But this one here from H&M I just thought was so beautiful. It is this green sort of car coat with that blazer style lapel. It's a double breasted action so it's gonna look really cool, really trendy. And this green, again, is one that I didn't really know about for sure, but I felt like olive goes really well with neutral colors, so took a little chance on that. I also sized up for this just because in jackets, I feel like, especially because I live in Canada and it's really cold and you gotta layer, like this ain't gonna, ain't gonna cut it if you don't have multiple layers inside, unless you want to put your parker on top. So I upsized in this. This is a size six and it's also a almost floor length. So it'd be really great to wear over top of dresses, skirts and things like that for the holiday season. And again, I just feel like it'll go really well with neutrals. The best part about this jacket though, feeling it, it is heavy, it is well made, but it is only $79.99. Like a coat under $100 to me is just like a steal. All right, here is that jacket on, and friends, I am a fan. I just feel like this is such a cool look. It actually just really goes well together, which is really helping me in my case to put another jacket in my closet. But I just feel like this is so cute because of its double breast in nature. It's kind of got that little touch of menswear vibe by being just a tiny bit oversized. Could also be that I picked up a size up. But like I said, I really wanted to make sure that it would fit with multiple sweaters underneath. So I'm actually wearing a top, a sweater, and then the jacket, and there's still quite a bit of room in the underarms, which is what you wanna look for when you are picking up a jacket that you want to be good for layering. But this green, I think is really cool. I feel like it gives another option to a classic brown or camel coat. Goes really well with light neutrals like this. And again, the length of it is great. Goes about halfway through the calf, which means that'll be great for things like skirts. I just love how the skirt is kind of peeking out under my jacket, but enough feeling myself. Love this coat. Love the fact that it's $80 and we'll definitely be wearing this in outfit videos very soon. And that is it for my H&M pre-holiday, holiday winter outfit haul. I feel like I have been really loving H&M recently. I really like what they're doing with their conscious line too uh, and the transparency that they're starting to have more of in terms of how they create their pieces. So. I will be doing another H&M haul, I'm sure, very soon in the future. But I hope you guys liked that. If you did, make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up. A ton of you guys commented in the polls that you really wanted to see more like H&M, Zara style hauls. I'm assuming it's because it's available where you guys are. So hopefully you liked it. Comment below, let me know your favorite pieces. And if you're new to the Inspired family, thank you so much for joining us on this haul adventure. We hope you'll join us for a little bit longer and subscribe. But with that, I hope you guys have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!